What's going on guys, it's Clutch once again, uh, second video of the day, actually it's my third video of the day, um, had a FIFA video up today, earlier, and I had the second episode of my career up on Yao Sports today, it was meant to be up on Thursday but there was a slight change of plan, so um, that's up on Yao Sports if you want to click the screen now and watch it if you haven't already seen it, but if you have then stay tuned because we are about to continue this career and go into my second fight. Um, got to schedule a fight first though, so we will have a look at the next contenders. Um, first of all, I'll look at rankings. Who's the lowest rank? I want to fight the lowest rank right now because um, I don't have that that great stats, so I don't really want to fight anyone good right now. I want to be a bit of a bitch and fight all the easy guys to start off with uh, this guy's got Muay Thai so it'll be a stand-up fight so I'm gonna go with this guy uh, yeah I'm gonna fight Rob Moore um, so basically in the last episode uh, I had my first fight and I won by a knockout in the first round it was fairly convincing so I was happy with my performance so I'm just looking to continue that. Um, since this guy's a Muay Thai guy, I'm just going to work the heavy bag once again. Um, get my stand up up. Oh, what a noob. I should have done some stat training first. Uh, that's how I'm going to split it this week. I'm going to do one training session and then I think I'm going to work on my speed and footwork. Not speed and footwork, I think I'm going to work my speed and cardio. Uh, but we'll see. I'm not too sure what the options are right now. But um, I'm just gonna try and get the maximum, get to gold, and max out the stats for this training session. Um, yeah, as I said in the last episode, I'm gonna be switching weight classes quite regularly. So I'm gonna try and fight a variety of guys from different backgrounds, different weight classes, different. Um, okay, adjust. Move your feet. Different. Um, skill sets my went blank there uh, doing this live com commentary as usual the whole series will be live I am failing so hard on this right now uh, but yeah the whole series will be live you will not miss a second of my career uh, you're gonna see every training every sparring session all of that good stuff maybe boring but um, if you guys want me to skip that in the future then just let me know in the comments and I will do but for now, I'm going to keep him in, and there we go, that's the four stars. So we've maxed out on this training session, so that's a good job. Um, since last time, I've only edited my looks a little, because I, have, I don't have much available to me right now, so I have added the THQ and the Ukes answer to all of my um, gear. Oh, shit. I did not realise that I only had a week to train. I thought I would have two actions, but I was a noob and I did not look. Great one, clutch. Anyway, we will proceed to the event. But as I was saying, um, yeah, I added the available sponsors onto all of my clothing and whatnot. Um, so I'll get a bit more cred after my fight. Uh, this is an expert, and I'm looking to continue my winning streak. It's only one fight, but I've only, but it's a great way to start my career. You don't want to start off with a loss, and I started off in the right way. So now I'm going to look to continue that and knock this guy the fuck out. Uh, fighting in the WFA as usual, start from the WFA, move on to the UFC and hopefully I will get to fight in Pride as well. I um, should be able to, but um, we'll see. I haven't had an unsuccessful career yet, so I'm not too sure what happens if you go belly up in your career, but um, that's not the plan. And Evil Levine is getting us started, so I'm going to get into this fight and start off by touching gloves. Oh, it's a southpaw. But it switches to orthodox. I'm gonna look to work the body and then the head as usual. Need to use my leg kicks a bit more. Don't think I used that many in the last fight. Just spammed hooks to the, hooks to the head and that lunging punch as well. That's what I relied on last fight. Did pay off, but it could be costly against other opponents. And I forgot to turn off the stamina bars once again, but I will do that for the next episode. Not too much of an issue right now because it's the early fights and it shouldn't be anything too tough right now. 
should be able to beat this guy once again. Depending on the time, I might include two fights in this episode. If I beat him nice and early, then I'll give you another fight. Because last episode was fairly short. I'm going to look to try and do around 15 minutes on each episode. But we, we shall see. Ugh. This is a bit of a close fight. I'm taking more shots than I would like to right now. He's got some decent hands. I really need to work on my speed. Oh, that was a big shot. I don't want to be taking too many of those. Uh, I look to mix it up nicely with the strikes. Keep him guessing. I'm going to do something out of oh, That was a fail. Tried to surprise him there with a takedown. But his takedown defense is obviously fairly decent. My takedown offense is terrible. And what a left hook. Knock him down. And I don't know what he's like on the ground. So I don't even want to be there. Could be a predominant um, white eye striker. But still have submissions. So I really don't want to be there at all. I don't, mas I don't trust myself with submissions against um, the expert CPU, so I'd rather just stay away from that completely. Um, I'd love to end him in this first round, but I'm not going to do anything too crazy. Oh, that, I saw that being the knockout there with that nice um, counter left hook after I dodged his punch. Oh, what an upper hook. Finish him with a head kick? No. Nope. Uh, I have a feeling this round's gonna close out before I end him. Yeah. I'm pleased with that first round. I definitely won that. Um, got a lovely knockdown and I also rocked him. Could have finished the fight but I did hesitate a bit. Didn't want to dive in and get caught because I have had that happen to me in previous fights. Like on my last, um, on my last fight that I uploaded on my last career um, against Jim Miller uh, I think he knocked me down right after I rocked him so I am wary of that now and I'm not going to ever rush into anything well I say that but you never know what will happen um, as you can see there the, my corner is telling me to go for more submissions I don't even think I went for any and my submission offense isn't exactly great right now I think it's around 55 uh, because I think you start off at 50 and I got an extra 5 for the training session thing that you do at the start I got an extra bonus for that so my submission starts aren't too great right now but um, he looks gassed already he looks so tired um, they don't what, what I've noticed is on this year they don't touch gloves in the second or third round anymore they used to touch gloves every round in um, 2010 if you well if you didn't like reject them in the first round but now they're just like fuck you I don't want to touch your glove I suppose not every UFC fighter touches glove every, gloves every round but they don't do it at all going to have to keep them at distance with my kicks oh he's, he's getting really slow Having the stamina, having the HUD on as well is a bit of a giveaway, but oh, lovely knockout again. Gave him a little extra one there, which is unnecessary, but I decided to anyway. But yeah, there we go, that's the second fight for you. Um, carrying on my winning streak, 2-0. Uh, decent start to my career, two knockouts under my belt, going to continue to going to try and push on and continue that run of form try and finish every fight like I did in my last career actually no I didn't in my last career I had two that went to the decision but two fights out of 47 that go to the decision isn't that bad um, I'm going to see if I can I'm going to see how long I can get a win streak on i uh, going to try and close out my career undefeated but that will be a bit tough once it gets to the actual UFC fighters and in Pride as well Pride is um, the hardest mode for me because I don't know there's something about it as, as soon as I go to the ground I'm so freaking nervous because one reversal and I'm in, a, I'm in a bad situation and you can knee me to the head and the fight can end any second uh, in my last career Pride was the only place I ever lost I think all three of my losses came in Pride 
and I won the Pride Grand Prix once but the other three times I just failed miserably. Uh, that I'll get a knockout of the night because I rocked him. Um, yeah, I don't get any um, bonus there, so carrying on. Pick up another decent win. Um, and we will schedule our next fight and close this episode for this week. And the next one will be on Thursday on Yao Sports. And this time I plan on. Oh, you only get one action at this stage. It's a bit of a bummer. Uh, let's see, this guy ranked 27. I've already fought Louise Kang, so I don't want to fight you again. You're banned, mate. Yeah, they are. Let's see, what's your skill set? Eee, when you last two fights by submission. One, the majority of your fights by submission. Wait. How can he have won the majority of his. F uh, fair enough, it only shows one. Uh, Alright, we need a striker. KO. Alright, we'll fight Keith, we Keith Edwards. He will do nicely. Uh. So yeah, next episode will be on Yash Sports, guys. Uh, if you haven't seen the second episode from previously today, then please go over to Yash Sports and check it out and give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to those guys if you want to see my videos and other great commentators. Snake and Shadow also do a UFC um, career, and theirs is pretty entertaining too. So feel free to check them out as well, and don't forget to leave a comment on this video and like or subscribe if you're new uh thanks for watching guys it's been clutch peace